Breaking tonight, explosive new details in the rape of a Winter Springs High School student. Washington News just obtained a police report that says the victim recorded some of the attack with her iPod. Bob Healing is working the story right now at the police department. And Bob, six of her classmates were arrested today. Yeah, that's right, Meredith. And all day, really, and all night, some of the classmates have been buzzing, posting on social media, questioning whether this young woman was a willing participant. After viewing the video she was able to get, the police chief says there's no doubt that she said no and wanted to go. Apparently, she was um, astute enough to click on something to, uh, to show that, uh, she was, that this was unwanted. For the first time, Winter Springs police confirmed that the victim, who says six fellow Winter Springs High students arrested to date raped her, recorded video they now consider crucial evidence. There is no doubt in my mind, because I've seen the video, there is no doubt in my mind or in my investigator's mind that she did not want to be there and did not want to participate. In this newly released report on the incident, police say the video shows 18 year old Toriano Batten and five juvenile suspects West 2 is not naming, circling the juvenile victim, asking her to perform a sex act. She says no. They press her further, allegedly telling her it's his birthday. They would not ruin their lives over this. This Winter Springs High student who spoke out to West 2 with her father's permission tells us she knows the suspects and does not believe the allegations. They're like brothers to me and seeing one of them, he was going into a cop car, he was crying, it made me cry. We got no answer at the home of several suspects, but police say their families are cooperating. Uh, in fact, a couple of the parents were very helpful in reaching out to us, very helpful in reaching out to us and saying, hey, my son may have had something to do with this. Also, police tell us that they made contact again with this young woman today to ask her about some alleged online postings where she contradicted her story, but she denied making any such posting. They tell us they're also actively investigating whether any other video connected to uh, this rape incident exists. Reporting live in Winter Springs, Seminole County, Bob Keeling, West 2 News on CW18. And Bob, this arrest report is very disturbing. The victim says that she was actually sexually battered on two separate occasions that afternoon. Yeah, that's also a new aspect to this story, Meredith. She said uh, at one point, part of the suspects sexually uh, assaulted her on the way to a McDonald's very near this school. And then afterwards, she was actually pulled into the woods by some of these other suspects. That's why six total have been arrested. Bob, thank you. Bob Keeling reporting live tonight in Winter Springs.